I can't believe it actually happened guys. I got an invite to the Android mobile beta. Honestly, didn't think this was ever going to happen at this point. I originally signed up for it when I started my trip. That was four months ago. So I finally actually got invited. I'm so stoked. I have an actual nine hour bus ride tomorrow and I'll be able to play RuneScape the entire day or the entire night depending on how lazy we are tomorrow. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is uh, well, giving you my first impressions on the client. Uh, I'm going to just try flipping uh, with well, 100 mil. I'm just going to see how easy it is to put in offers, uh, just interact with the Grand Exchange in general. Now keep in mind, I literally just downloaded this five minutes ago. I've not had any chance to actually test out the client at all, but it was very easy to download. It instantly cached all of the assets right away, so it seems like it's not going to be using nearly any data. Uh, but yeah, I'm in my apartment. I'm in my hostel right now, so I'm actually going to go run to a coffee shop because it seems like a great place to try out mobile for the first time. Okay, so to start off here, uh, the phone that I'm using to run OSRS Mobile is a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. So it's pretty much just uh, the second or third newest phone pretty much for the Samsung. And so far, uh, performance wise, it is run twice as good as my laptop. Everything is completely smooth. I could probably run it and record at 60 FPS if I wanted to, although that does look kind of weird. Now, like I said, I'm still getting used to the gestures, uh, but so far it feels good. The way they placed, uh, well, the Grand Exchange interface uh, is actually pretty good for where your thumbs are. So your left thumb's interacting pretty well with the left half of the Grand Exchange interface, and your right thumb is interacting pretty well for like the offer up and confirm button and stuff like that. Now, so far I'm having a few uh, glitches with the keyboard not going away once I click on certain items, but it seems to only happen once in a while. And you can see here, I've only been using this for a few minutes, but uh, it's actually going pretty well. I can cycle through items very quickly. I'm definitely using the collect button a lot more because it requires less tapping. There aren't any really mobile only gestures for the uh, Grand Exchange interface, but there are uh, quite a few for banking. So right now I'm just gonna try putting in a few high volume flips, not really paying attention too much to what the actual items are. I'm just trying to see how quickly I can get the items in here. We're gonna try magic logs, chuck them in. You can kind of tell that it's really going about the same speed as I would on the laptop. I do find it a little awkward sometimes to reach the very middle of the screen, which is needed for, I think, the offer down button. We're actually gonna cycle through G Tracker as well, just checking out uh, the mobile version of their website as well. So I never actually used the mobile version of G Tracker that much, but so far it actually fits pretty nicely on my screen. Now, this isn't anything new, I just haven't really had a chance to use it at all. So one thing I've noticed is switching between screens occasionally will produce a very scary bug on my screen where the bottom half is like having a seizure. Uh, as long as you alt, well not alt tab, if you home page and then go back it fixes it. Now I'm going to do some further testing on this tomorrow on my bus ride, but so far the battery drain does seem a little bit high, although that could be in part due to the fact that I am recording this and screen recorders do use up quite a bit of battery. But honestly it's not any worse than a regular app. Just apps in general do drain your phone very quickly. Another thing I'm going to test tomorrow is the data usage. Now I read the article quite a long time ago or the blog post, but I've heard that the data usage is very minimal and I tested it out for a few minutes and I used not even a megabyte, just a few hundred kilobytes. That is very good considering what kind of game it is. It does help that everything gets pre-cached of course. Now we're just checking back in with a couple new offers. One thing I wish they did have was um, when you go to type in numbers, uh, there is no option, like you know on the keyboard you can type K or M to speed things up. Unfortunately, if you want to withdraw 100 mil from your bank, you need to put whatever amount of zeros there are. You can't just do 100 and then an M, although I think that might be more of a limitation from the actual mobile side of it. I'm not sure if you can make like a custom window for that, but that would be kind of nice. So far, most of the buttons have not been causing me any pain. One thing I think someone else did mention in one of the mobile videos is you would expect that when you have a window that scrolls down, that you actually um, scroll on the window just anywhere in the kind of interface. Unfortunately, you do have to use the little scroll bar at the side, which is kind of a pain to use. It does work, but it would be so much better if you could just 
uh, click on the entire window like that and just scroll up and down as you will. Same thing for the bank interface, of course. That one is much more important. The Grand Exchange one's not too bad because you don't really generally need a huge um, window to scroll through, but except for maybe the Grand Exchange history box. But for the bank, I really think they should change that. But honestly, I'm able to put in offers just as quickly as I do on my computer, and that is without having practiced this at all. Most of the way they incorporate the mobile gestures into here feels very natural and uh, how you'd expect it, except for a few small things like the uh, X buttons and the history buttons. I wish they'd just make it bigger. I know they maybe just don't want to mess with the actual interface because it's currently the exact same as on the PC version. However, I think having a few of those buttons like the X button and the history button, I have issues actually tapping. So it would be nice if those are a bit bigger. Now, one big thing that would really help out uh, flipping on your phone would be push notifications. Now I know that might be more of a security issue than an actual game engine issue. I'm assuming the only way to actually have uh, like push notifications come through is to have your account to some extent be logged in, which would probably make your account less secure. On the same tangent, when you log in you do have to type your password every time. It would be super awesome if you could use, well, thumbprint scanner because I actually have one on my phone and I use it to unlock my device. If it's safe enough to protect my banking information and everything else on my phone, then it should probably be safe enough to protect my RuneScape account. If someone stole my phone, they're not going to be directly going for my RuneScape account. Unless it was in Venezuela. So that would be the ultimate tool for flipping. However, just being able to log in from anywhere is a treat for sure. But it's not really fluid enough yet to switch between accounts that quickly that I would want to check every like... 10 minutes on if my flips are done or not. I think I would gladly sacrifice a bit of security and not really even be able to log into my account easier because typing out your password is a pain in the ass to be honest on a mobile. Typing anything is just not natural. It's so much easier with a keyboard and getting push notifications for grand exchange offers or even messages. Imagine being able to get messaged uh, on your mobile. Being able to receive some information from the game while you're not logged in would really make the experience feel more kind of mobile. Like I'm so sick of getting harassed by my stupid castle game or other apps trying to get my money. For once in my life, I'd actually care about those stupid notifications. But as a whole, I really have to commend uh, the people developing this. It feels very good. It runs perfectly on my phone. I know I do have a newer phone, so it's gonna be kind of iffy if you have an older phone, but I think barring uh, compatibility issues for phones, and stuff like that, if it ran like this on everyone's phone, I'd say it would be ready for a open beta for sure. So that's about it guys, so what kind of videos can you expect in the future? Well I do want to of course make quite a few mobile videos. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing a battery and data test on my 8 to 9 hour bus ride. I'd like to make uh, some flipping videos and just some general, um, well maybe progress videos, I don't know, it's really fun to play on my phone, I'm so excited to have it. And I do have a couple other special videos which I'm going to keep secret for now. And uh, I actually just finished a two hour video which I'll be uploading sometime this week. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video, get ready for some mobile videos coming out, and I will see you in the next video.